Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw cop from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna begin with drawing the tip above his head with an arch curve line. At the ending point at the side, I'm going to extend it downwards and slightly outwards with a curve line. I'm going to do the same thing for the left side of his head and halfway down, I'm going to draw his eyes on the left with an oval shape right there. And inside of that oval shape, I'm going to draw a circular shape on the top right corner fill in the eye with black color now for his right eye I'm gonna draw a circular shape in the middle of the face right there and I'm gonna draw a smaller circle on the top right corner inside of that. Fill in the eye with black color. In the middle of the eye, at the lower point, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line from the left and upwards on the right side. Turn it downwards, turn it back to the left right there. Inside of that, on the right corner, I'm going to draw a short line across right there. On the top right corner of the mouth, I'm going to draw a bracket with a curve line right there and slightly thicken that curve line in the middle point. Below the eye on the left, I'm going to continue the curve line from the top downwards and below that, a diagonal curve line to the right and downwards to the middle point. Same as a good turn downwards at that corner, extend it downwards and slightly to the left, turn it back to the right. On the left side of the face, I'm going to draw a curve line out to the left. Same as a good turn downwards diagonally, sharp turn to the right. On the right side of that, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line downwards and to the right below that I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and continuing that line all the way from the head flare it slightly outwards at the tummy right there same as a turn back inwards below the tummy on the left side of that line I'm gonna draw his arm with an arch curve line to the left repeat that arch curve line again and another one right there mirror the same thing for the outer line of that arm at this lower point from the ending point at the outer corner i'm gonna repeat that same shape again outwards turn it upwards above the elbow right there and I'm gonna mirror the same shape for the inner line of the arm right there. Above that, I'm gonna draw his glove with a diagonal curve line to the right and downwards. And from the same point, a diagonal curve line downwards to the left. Turn it upwards on the left corner. Sharp turn sideways to the left. Sharp turn back upwards diagonally and extend it upwards. Same as a good turn to the right. Same as a good turn back downwards at that corner. Turn it back to the left. Copy that same shape of the finger on the left side right here. Extend it to the left at the side. Same as a good turn upwards. Turn it sideways to the right and upwards. For his thumb, I'm going to draw an oval shape on the right corner below the finger right there. On the left side of the thumb, 
a diagonal line across to the left turn it downwards at that corner and flare it out to that point for the right side of his collar I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line upwards from the middle point below his mouth to the right same as you could turn upwards at the outer corner on the right side of his head I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards an arch curve line back downwards at that corner a line across below that to the right and slightly upwards sharp turn downwards at the outer corner right there turn it back inwards diagonally to the middle point from the right side of his head I'm gonna draw a line out same as you could turn downwards below the color on the right I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards an arch curve line to the left turn it downwards curve it back outwards at the lower point right there copy that same curve line again at this lower point and on the right side of that I'm gonna draw his arm with a curve line out same as you could turn downwards at the outer corner and below the shoulder I'm gonna draw a series of arch curve line at the side of his arm downwards all the way to his glove I'm gonna do the same thing for the inner line of his arm on the right side right here below that I'm gonna draw his glove with a curve line across turn it downwards sharp turn back diagonally up to the right sharp turn back out and inwards turn it downwards to his fingers same as you could turn to the left on the left side of that I'm gonna copy that same curve line again a curve line downwards on the left side of that finger sharp turn back upwards on the left corner turn it diagonally down to the left sharp turn back upwards turn it diagonally to the wrist and same as you could turn upwards sharp turn back diagonally down to that corner from the side of his right arm on the left I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line downwards and slightly inwards turn it back downwards towards the side of his knee below the knee I'm gonna flare it out with a semicircle line semicircle turn back downwards for the inner line of that leg, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line in the middle point, turn it downwards and slightly to the right, same as you could turn to the right at the knee point. Below that, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards, all the way to his anchor point, same as you could turn outwards below the anchor point to the left, same as you could turn back downwards at that corner. For the outer line of the leg, I'm gonna extend it downwards. Same as you could turn downwards at that corner. Curve line across to the left. Above the base of the shoe, I'm gonna draw another curve line across at that corner. Turn it diagonally upwards at the side of the foot. Above that, I'm going to draw another curve line across right there. Now for his left leg, I'm going to draw a similar curve line downwards on the left corner right there. Same as I could turn inwards at the knee point. Another curve line below that to his ankle point. Same as I could turn at the ankle point. Diagonal line out to the left. Same as I could turn downwards below that. For the inner line of that leg, a diagonal curve line from the middle point slightly to the left, another curve line below the knee point, flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards towards his ankle point. Flare it slightly out below the heels, curve line across to the left, turn it diagonally downwards to the left and curve line across to the front part of the shoe. Below that, at the front point, I'm going to draw a line down, 
curve line across to the right turn it diagonally up turn it diagonally down to the right curve line across to the right and turn it upwards in the front tip of the shoe I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there now on his knee I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there and above that I'm gonna draw a zigzag line across to the side of his knee I'm gonna do the same thing for the right leg right here along his outfit I'm gonna draw some random curve line downwards below the collar some are short and some are long and the shape of the curve line follows the same shape of his tummy on the left side right there and on the right side here I'm gonna follow the same curve line of the body on the right side I'm gonna add some short lines on his legs as well and on his wrist I'm gonna draw a V shape right there for the corn pattern on his head I'm gonna draw a hexagon shape with a line across in the middle of his forehead turn it diagonally downwards to the side turn it back inwards diagonally below that curve line across at the lower point we're gonna repeat this shape upwards at this upper corner and downwards right there and at the side I'm gonna repeat the same shape again And we're gonna carry on and repeat that same hexagon shape all across his head. Now for the patterns on his hand, I'm gonna draw some random blob shape right there all across his arms And I'm going to do the same thing on the left arm.
that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.